Hi, this is Dr. Pan recording from Tucson, Arizona. Hope life is treating you well. And thank you for watching this clip on dealing with ratios. Uh, first part is without dealing the total, and second part is with dealing the total. As we go through the problem, we'll become more clear what we mean by uh, ratios with or without totals. The first question we have Jim and Abby share some money in the ratio of 1 to 4. Looks like Abby saves more money, and we're asked to find the percentage of money in Jim's share. Now, the best ways I've found over the years is to draw this thing called blocks. Okay, so Jim and Abby share uh, money in that Jim owns one block. Jim's block. Jim owns one block over here, and then for every one block he owns, Abby owns four. One, two, three, four. Okay, so Abby owns four blocks. Okay, now all together, as you can see, there's five blocks. So we're asked to find percentage of Jimmy's holding. So Jim's percentage uh, holding is he owns one block out of five blocks, which is one over five, or 0 0.2. And the way you change 0 0.2 to 2 percent is this, 0 0.2, and you put a zero behind, and then you're going to make this one a little bit bigger. Okay. This percent sign literally means per hundred. Okay, so if it's 0 0.2 out of one, that's equal to 20 out of hundred. Okay, that's how we do the first problem. Okay, that's a lot of work. Math break. Look, the size of this fish. Okay, back to math. Part two, we have a similar problem, but slightly more engaging. Emma and Helen, they share $180 together in the ratio of two to three. Obviously, it looks like Helen is saving more money, and we want to say if Helen wants to take her money out, how much does she have? Well, let's again go back to our blocks. So for every two blocks that Emma owns, Emma's own, keep on saying Emma's, Emma owns two blocks. Okay, and then here we have uh, Helen owns three blocks. Okay, so all together we have five blocks. Now it's important that we know all together it's five blocks because this all uh, five blocks also is equivalent to $180. So what I'll solve is uh, this problem I'll solve in two ways. One is using the pre-algebra where we haven't much haven't had much experience with uh, variables. And the other one I'll solve with the uh, algebra one concept where we have this variable called x or y or any sort of uh, letter representing the things we're trying to find. Now first thing first, let's do the pre-algebra method. Pre-algebra method. If five blocks is equivalent to $180, then each block is equal to 150 divided by 5, which is $36. Okay, so this is the first step. The second step, since Helen owns three blocks, Helen owns three blocks, and each one of them is 36, so she owns 36 times three, 108 dollars. Okay, that's how much she owns. Now, this is the pre-algebra method. Let's take a like, look how we're doing the algebra method. Okay, so. We're going to express into the ratio. Helen owns three blocks out of uh, five blocks altogether. Now, when you're doing the ratio, it's important you keep um, this is the individual ones, this is the total. We're going to get, do exactly the same individual one. I don't know how much Helen owns, but I do know altogether is $180. Okay, so basically you're going to cross multiply, draw this butterfly over the years I tell my students, just draw the butterfly. Okay, and then you're going to have 2 plus 3, which is 5. 5 times x is equal to 3 times 180, and then x is equal to 3 times 180 divided by 5. This cancels out to be 36 
So x is equal to $108. So you do end up with exactly the same thing. And this one does not require any variables. But my advice is as you get closer and higher and older and more mature, you get a lot more comfortable with this concept of using variables to substitute for the things that you are trying to find. Uh, a lot of the math uh, from seventh grade onward is really focused on using this real algebra or variables. There's no way to get around it. All right, hope this one is clear. Once again, from Tucson, Arizona, this is Dr. Pan making learning math fun and easy. Well, at least trying to. Please comment or thumb up if it has been helpful. Until next time, have a confident day.